Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? <clears throat> and so I'm back with a couple of um, holiday sets that I got over at Trader Joe's. They just now came out with their holiday sets. And um, let's go ahead and get started with the makeup portion, and then we'll go ahead and go into the sets. And so what I started off with today was the Super Goop Glow Oil uh, in the SPF 50. So I had that one on, and I'm actually starting to get through this bottle. I mean, it's it lasts a really long time if you're looking at going ahead and getting some. And then um, the Elf, the Power Grip with the niacinamide in there, uh, I had that on as well. Did go ahead and use the House Labs and this their Triclone Foundation in the uh, shade Fair Cool 50, and. I do have, uh, yeah, my coffee and tea machine going on. So if you're hearing that in the background. That's what you're hearing. And sorry about that. But it did just sort of is really needed uh, at this point. Because as you can see, since I'm having problems with words, that I'm not too quite awake yet. So um, as far as what I did for the bronzer, I went ahead and used the L'Oreal. And this is the Lumi bronze it and this one's in light so that's what I have on as the bronzer here I did go ahead and yeah I just really have found this sunset strip by uh, Colourpop to be a really good color as far as the base color and I can put quite a few um, this is cream and uh, you can only get it on the Colourpop website right now it may go into you know the retail stores but what I found with this is it's just a really good base um, it has pigment the pigment stays but I can put a um, powder over it really easily so yeah really liking these from Colourpop and I did go ahead and use the just cruising over the top so that's what I have on there. And then as far as the highlight, I use the Master Chrome, uh, the Molten Peach. And this one's by Maybelline. And so, yeah, it's one of their Molten Peach colors. So um, I did go ahead and use the Beauty Pie Triple, uh, Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder. I just called it the Triple Glowy powder most of the time so yeah that's what I have on um, as far as a finishing powder and then as far as what I did for the eyes um, I went ahead and used Friday the 13th and uh, let's see if we can get it it's holographic so yeah it says Camp uh, Crystal Lake and then it has Friday the 13th on it and I'm not really a big horror fan but I did wait until Glamlight released uh, they released uh, three different um, collabs and they were all with horror movies and so this was the one palette out of those three that I thought that I would really like and so I went ahead and picked it up it's a really dark palette it's actually darker in person than it's showing up on camera um, but uh, these two rows right here have really been I, I've been looking at them and not exactly knowing what to do with them they're the grungier part of the palette right here. And so I did go ahead and do a look today, which is mainly the greens. And uh, what I kept on finding was that this color that I kept on wanting to be brown is actually a gold. And so I kept on trying to use it as brown and it wouldn't work. And so now I think I've kind of figured out how to do that color. So I went ahead and used this one in the crease. Uh, then I use this one in the outer corner. Use this one right on the middle of the lid. Uh, this on the inner corner. And then this beautiful, uh, it's a silver white. Pardon me. It's a silver white and it's really pretty. And I went ahead and took it from down here all the way up to the corner here and then all along right under the brow as sort of a brow bone highlight and it just turned out really pretty. Um, I did go ahead and also use the Emrite uh, gel eyeliner as well with this um, but these yeah they're just really pretty and the way that they blend together is really fun and it's really a grungy 
look that's coming out a little bit lighter on camera but this is the way it worked out and once I stopped trying to use the gold as brown it just all sort of fell into place and once I started using the gold as gold it actually worked so yeah um, <clears throat> So that's the eye look, and then as far as what I have on the lips, I did go ahead and get a Relove by Revolution uh, Baby Gloss. This one is in Wonder, and it's actually pretty brown color, but it does have a lot of shimmer in there. So that's sort of the way that it looks. Yeah, so that's sort of the way that it looks, and I think it goes pretty with the look and everything. So uh, that's what I have on my face, and then as far as what I went ahead and picked up, <clears throat> again, excuse me, over at Trader Joe's, um, I did go ahead and get the Gummy Bear, and this is Flavored Lip Duo. It's a lip uh, balm butter and an overnight lip mask. And so, yeah, I've been looking for uh, something like this for myself and for some gifts. So um, this is pretty much a gift that you could probably give just about anybody because, I mean, it's an overnight lip mask, right? So... Um, it, this it runs somewhere in between about four to six dollars this one and I've already gone ahead and tried the overnight mask and it really works well so uh, yeah this is definitely <clears throat> an office gift a stocking stuffer a um, secret Santa kind of gift um, but the products are nice and they work really well and Trader Joe's does do pretty well on a lot of their bath and body products and their face products I've been using let's see what's this one the antioxidant facial serum from them for um, a couple of months now and I really like it so they do well but they don't get the hype that the other companies do for doing body products and the other one that I got was a Trader Joe's Brazil nut and so that's the way that the packaging looks um, with this set you actually get a lot of product this is what you actually get in there and so um, with the Brazil nut it looks like the actual um, fragrance and it does have fra fragrance it's going to be salted caramel pistachio and vanilla and then as far as what's actually in here <clears throat> it comes with three products and this one the Brazil Mint body mist has seaweed extract and aloe vera and that's uh, the spray right in the middle here and then over on this side you get the body butter and with the body butter it has a CI and guarana extract and that's g-u-a-r-a-n-a -A -A. and i think that's actually something oh it does smell good um that's actually close to something in ginseng i think guanarana yeah is going to be that kind of a thing so this is what the body better looks like and it is really nice and moisturizing and it it's um blending well or yeah it's sinking in well it's not something that you're going to have to go ahead and you know try to fight to get some moisture and get it spread so um yeah good one right there and then the body oil which is this one over here has a uh, squalene and guarana um, extract as well and again I know I'm not saying that right but I'm pretty sure that that's a ginseng or it's connected to ginseng as far as that particular e extract because I've seen it in stuff before um, but if uh, you're really sensitive you might want to go ahead and check it out to make sure that um, 
you could probably find it online. Just Google it, G-U-A-R-A-N-A, -A -A, and to see if you can have a problem with it. But um, it just, it's such a fun set, and you get a lot, and so I thought that it'd be something that I would be able to use in the winter months when my skin is drier. And so I really wanted to try it. Um, with this set, it runs... I think it's about ten or eleven dollars, and um, you're get, like I said, you're getting a lot. Six full ounces of the mist, two full ounces of the body oil, and then three ounces of the body butter. So, yeah, it's it's a good size set. It's a substantial set. They also had uh, the Trader Joe Advent calendar, and they had the one for the beauty products. It was all sample sizes of the beauty products. And I knew most of them, so I didn't really, that really didn't interest me. So I didn't pick up that one, but that one runs about $20. And it looked, for somebody who doesn't know those kind of products, but maybe wants to move more toward something that's a little bit less, um, less, I want to say less clinical as far as skincare, but it really isn't. It just more it uses more herbals in their skincare. Then that would be a really good set that um, Advent calendar to go ahead and try the Trader Joe products because they do have herbals in them. They do have a lot of scents in them. They have a lot of oils in them. So if you wanted to go ahead and try some products without having to um, buy the full sizes and see if you like having herbals in your skin care, then that would be the way to go about it. But I already know that I like them and I don't have anybody that I'm getting a gift for that is sort of looking at that kind of stuff right now. Um, but again, the Advent calendar from Trader Joe's is a really good one. Anyway, and... Um, Let's see, I think that's just about the video today. Uh, like I said, uh, these are the new holiday kits. And um, if you want to get them, I would pick them up soon or get them ordered online soon because they do tend to sell out. They're pretty popular. And um, I'm grateful that we have a Trader Joe's near me and that I've been able to get along so well with their skincare. And um, let's see, other than that, I think that's the video. And I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.